Hey guys, the Orient Traveler Z here. Today we'll be checking out Singapore Airlines' flagship product. Their suites on board their Airbus A380, which the airline claims is a class above first. This space encompasses up to 4 square meters or more than 40 square feet, a truly mammoth personal space by airline standards. There is a side console with plenty of storage nooks, plenty of lighting options, another side table with fresh orchids, and a full height wardrobe to store your luggage and clothes. Each suite features a sliding door which is locked open while on the ground. The enthusiastic crew insisted on a glass of crew. The side console surface features three leather padded compartments. Suites passengers are provided a pair of B&O noise cancelling headphones. Beneath the console is a larger storage compartment, next to which you'll find a life vest and charging outlet. Lastly are the various light controls. Each suite features two windows. Unlike ordinary aircraft windows, these feature electronic blinds, which extend and retract at the touch of a button. The dining table is stored within the other side console. In the seat's leather armrest, you will find the seat controls and TV remote. The seat rotates almost 180 degrees to accommodate various positions, such as dining, watching TV, and even swivels towards the window side console, so you don't have to strain your neck as you admire the views out the window. Before we take off, stow your luggage under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. There are six suites on board Singapore Airlines A380, three on each side of the aisle. Rows 1 and 2 feature retractable privacy dividers, allowing them to be converted into a double bed suite. During taxi takeoff and landing, the privacy dividers must be lowered. Soon we were soaring into the sunset. There are two dedicated washrooms for suites passengers located on opposite sides of the main stairs. The right-hand washroom was the larger of the two. Additional toiletries can be found in the drawers beneath the sink countertop. There is also a separate vanity table which is a great place to place your clothes as you change into the included Lalik pajamas. There is a 32-inch LCD screen on a swivel arm. Champagne meant that dinner was on its way. While waiting, admire the stylings of the suite. The doors have slits in the shape of leaves. This design language extended to the ceiling lights, which was a nice touch. First up, Singapore Airlines Signature Satay, with peanut sauce and accompaniments on the side. Next came a selection of bread and pastries. Appetizer was balik salmon with maloso, caviar and creme fraiche. Next came the Indian-style tomato dal soup. For mains, order classic Singapore Airlines dishes like lobster thermidor from the Book the Cook menu. Creamy chunks of lobster served in a half shell on a bed of roasted vegetables and potatoes. Room for dessert? Have some lemon curd truffle with citrus panna cotta. Finally, it was time to try the double bed in the sky. Apparently, this is possible if there were only one or two sweets passengers on board. This is to avoid disappointing the third or fourth passengers who would be unable to enjoy a double bed of their own, given there are only two pairs of suites that can be made into double beds. Alas, all good things must come to an end. I hope you have enjoyed the Singapore Airlines Suites experience. If you liked our content and would like to see more, please do drop us a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out. Thanks for watching. Till next time.